For a thermodynamic system, and we could be talking about a gas or a liquid, the internal energy is the total energy that is contained within the boundary of the system. So we need to look microscopically. Between particles in a the fluid, there must exist intermolecular forces which are attractive. In terms of energy, we say that these particles have potential energy. Unless the fluid is at absolute zero, these particles must be moving with a speed. So they must have kinetic energy. This means that the internal energy of a fluid is equal to the total potential energy of the particles plus the total kinetic energy of these particles. Writing this out in symbols, we use capital U for internal energy, potential energy PE, kinetic energy KE. For an ideal gas, one of the assumptions is that there are no intermolecular forces acting between gas particles. So for an ideal monatomic gas, the total potential energy is considered negligible. Now the total internal energy of the ideal gas is just equal to the total kinetic energy of the molecules. In previous lessons, we have established that the total kinetic energy of an ideal gas is 3 over 2 nRT. Small n is the number of moles in the gas, r is the molar gas constant, t is the temperature of the gas. Since u is equal to Ke for an ideal gas, we can say that the total internal energy is also equal to 3 over 2 nRT.